and pleasure to be back to my heart and bounty Nairobi. Mr. Teku's work has supported a lot. Mr. Teku has served as a career mentor to many, including his younger colleagues. Select Enterprise Framebit Technologies has successfully participated in Multimedia, the Mount Kenya University Alumni Association. Professor Lugracious Jagani, the Vice Chancellor, members of the University Management Board and Senate, of our graduates. I would like to express my appreciation to the Mount Kenya, the Chancellor, Professor John Stratus, the Chief Guest. <laughs> University of the West of Scotland, Mr. John Kipkeboy, the head of tertiary and PESA Foundation Academy, who is representing His Excellency Sebastian Krohn, the Ambassador of the Federal Republic of Germany to Kenya, Dr. Kerovi Chuobora, Bina Shaka, the Mount Kenya University. Kwenu, Wanamalenga. Absorbed as a multimedia technologist. He's here for embracing technology, which has enabled a digital learning environment for many students, including myself. Today, you are officially transiting into the three levels, may vary from person to person. The journeys may be similar or related, but never the same.
Market, market testing one of its pioneer WEMA black soap product. This is a product that is envisioned to promote the use of locally available resources while creating opportunities for researchers to continuously innovate on the diverse products of indigenous trees. Toward achieving this, the university is strengthening the growing of more herbal-based trees in its botanic garden at Happy Valley in Tika. This is a venture that is currently leveraging on partnership with environmental champions in growing more trees and harnessing them for innovative and research-led products. Other research-based activities and milestones worth n noting include the Vice Chancellor's Research and Innovation Grant of uh, 1.5 million over 1.5 million given to the members of staff in September 2023, the ongoing seven NRF uh, funded project and four NRF funded PhD project. As you, you know, uh, as you leave this place with all the knowledge and ideas and the all the innovations that you want to make, I want to make sure that, and want to implore Kenyans that they learn the art of consuming what is made in Kenya. We want you, as you develop your products, as you sell those products, I want to ask Kenyans that the time has come when Kenyans must consume what is made in Kenya. That is the only way that we can grow this country uh, together uh, and support the government's policy of buy Kenya, uh, build Kenya. And as a Ministry for Investments, Trade and Industry, we want to work with you to turn these innovations into products that can be sold and consumed by Kenyans so that we can grow our economy. Because, uh, Mr. F yeah, Chancellor Sir, every time that a country imports products from another country, we export jobs. So, because there's somebody that is making those products in the country where you are manufacturing. So for us to be able to create jobs within this country, we want to encourage Kenyans to consume what is made in Kenya, to encourage many Kenyans to start to add value, to produce made in Kenya products, so that together we can grow as a nation. The council has also approved the establishment of EMBU Open Distance and Electronic uh, Regional Learning Center. The purpose of opening such a center is to support the Odell platform. Through the Odell platform, Mount Kenya University has been able to support, through the internet, online studies, we have been able to support nationals from 40 nationalities. And this has been made possible because of the robust uh, Odell platform that we have uh, supported as council. This is because we appreciate that time and space have been separated, but time and space is connected through technology, and that has made it possible for us.